Welcome. And following me is a Maxcom Smart MS457. And today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. So as you can see, the device in front of me is actually locked. And if, and if I wanted to, I cannot progress further on without the actual correct email address and password for that email. So to bypass it, we're gonna need a card like this one. And uh, what you wanna do is plug it into your computer and download the necessary tools that will be linked. Um, for this to work. So basically there will be a link for the FRP bypass for Android 7.1.2 and uh, Android settings up. So basically what you wanna do is copy them to the SD card there, just to the main folder of it. And once you have that, you can then put it into the device while say you're here, it doesn't really matter where you are on the screen. Basically once you plug it in, you will get a message to switch the, to the SD card. So, cut, so the device can copy things to it instead of to the internal storage. And if you select to confirm it, it will take you to the actual card itself where you can open the apps. So start by actually putting them in there, the card itself, down. As you can see, it's kind of laying there. What you want to do is now Put it back in here. Okay. And close it. And as you can see, you get this message here. So just tap on OK. And from here, I will see the card that we have just inserted, which is the SD SanDisk card. So tap on it, and it will take us to the content of it. And first you want to install the uh, or is it the FRP uh, VN ROM, which is right here. And once you tap on it, you will have to actually enable unknown sources. So tap on the settings and then check this on to unknown sources so you can install it. Okay, and then go one time back and tap on it once more. At this time, we'll be able to actually install it. So tap on next and install. Yeah. And instead of opening, just tap on done. And from here, I'm gonna go into the other one, which is the settings. So install the settings as well. And once it's installed, this one you wanna open. And from here, we want to disable the find my device. So let's go into security right here and then device administrators and find my device check that off and once you tap on it it will take you here so deactivate this device administrator and go back to the main settings page and from here we want to go into the apps and tap on the three dots up here and show system and scroll down Is it? Okay, so let's see Google Play Services. We want to disable this. Disable up, and uh, there's one more Google Account Manager right here. Also, disable this. Go back, go back once more, and from here, we're gonna go into the accounts. Add account, choose Google. Give it a moment. And then sign in with a Google account that you wish to use. Now, if you don't have one, you can always tap on here to create one and then log it in with it or use one that or you already have like I do. So I'm gonna use mine. then tap on next and put in the password for it. So I'm just gonna do that off the camera. Okay. 
and then tap on next and you'll see this so just tap on I agree to the terms of service of Google tap on open again go back and now we're gonna re-enable everything that we have disabled so let's go into the apps and tap on system again and find the one that we disabled so we have Google account manager right here enable go back scroll a little lower whoops and you have Google Play services, enable, go back. And now all we need to do is hold power key, reboot the device, confirm it, and let's wait for it to power back on. Okay, so unlock the device again and we should be now able to go through the setup of the device Okay, and as you can see, account added, which is the account that we have added previously before the reset. And that is the account that it's using right now. And now we can just proceed on by tapping on next and give it a little bit more time for it to find whatever. We don't want to really set up anything at the moment. We're going to perform another hard reset of the device. It's cool, got it. So once you're in the home screen, just enable or go into the settings and uh, go all the way down into backup and reset and choose factory data reset and reset phone. I'm actually going to take out the SD card because it's not needed anymore. Do that quickly. Let me just lock the device. Okay. Okay. So from here, finish by tapping on erase everything. and let the hard reset basically go through and once it's finished then we can set up the device the way we like it and it's going to be fully usable And as you can see now the process is finished so we can set up the device as we like i'm again gonna go to the setup really quickly just to not waste any more time so let's choose the language get started and i'm not going to connect to the network considering it's going to take a little bit longer while it's finding updates and stuff like that so don't use any network for setup and continue now, if you would connect, you will, it will start looking for updates and also allow you to log into the Google so we can immediately start using App Store and stuff like that. So just go through this. Um, you can also choose a password. Like I said, the device is fully unlocked now and you can set it up as you like. So you can see we're on the home screen again. And if I go into the settings and into the account, oops, 
not really what I want to press. So let me go back. Uh, accounts right here. There is no account added unless you connected to Google and used one. Then you will see your account right now. But because I skipped it, this field is completely empty and the device is fully clean now. So that is basically how you would perform a Google bypass on this device. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.